appropriate time for us to do a deep dive analysis into the state of job creation in the country. Now remember, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had promised to create 10 million jobs a year during his campaign in the run-up to the 2014 Lok Sabha elections. But if a study conducted by the Center for Sustainable Employment uh, by the Azim Premji University is anything to go by, total employment shrank by 7 million between 2013 and 2015. For more details, let's go across to Archana Shukla. She's standing by with more details. Archana. The report State of Working India 2018 poses far more grave issues. It says that rate of unemployment at 5% in 2015 is the highest seen in India in at least the last 20 years. And all the higher economic growth rate has raised aspirations but has failed to generate the kind of jobs that will allow people to fulfill those aspirations. It says that a 10% increase in GDP now results in less than 1% increase in employment. Uh, in fact, between 2013 and 2015, 7 million jobs were lost. The biggest disadvantaged, however, have been the urban educated youth. More than 9 million people who are looking for jobs are at least graduates, and that has raised the unemployment among the higher educated to 16%. This is three times the national average, says the report. Besides, more than 60% of those looking for jobs are between the age group of 15 to 25 years, uh, that age bracket, and that also is a three-time national average figure. Apart from pure unemployment, quality of jobs and poor wage growth is another big area of concern. The report highlights that in 2015, 67% Indian households earned less than 10,000 rupees per month, whereas the minimum salary recommended by 7th Pay Commission is 18,000 rupees per month. Adjusted for inflation, wage growth in most sectors has again been poor. It has been a mere 3% per annum. Uh, look at that. Organized manufacturing has seen a mere 2%. Unorganized manufacturing, 4, services 5, and agriculture, are 7%. 90% of industries in organized manufacturing pay wages below the CPC minimum. The situation is worst in the unorganized sector. Uh, that, in fact, is the bulk of the jobs. The report also points that despite an increase in organized manufacturing formalization, uh, it has still not been able to help job growth, uh, as a lot of jobs created are of the informal nature. Uh, in organized manufacturing, nearly 30% of all workers are contractual workers. That's the reason why, despite labor productivity has increased in organized manufacturing, uh, it has increased by about six times, wages have increased by only 1.5 times. Giving an in-depth view on gender gap in employment, the report says that women have 16% representation of all service sector jobs, uh, but they remain concentrated only in textiles and garments, tobacco, education, uh, health, and domestic services. Domestic services being more uh, a prominent uh, uh, working area. Women also get paid less than men, overall only 65% of the men's earnings. Small efforts aside, a focused national empl employment policy is what will be required to give a mission mode push to job creation in the country, uh, is what the suggestion from the report is. Besides, it suggests a universal basic services approach can be imagined that will deliver human capital advances alongside jobs growth. Back to you.